How are you hung for a fucking breakfast? Dude, I only had those biscuits and gravy. Good, those man. filled me up, though. Dude, those pancakes were amazing. <laughs> Dude, I took a bite. They were good. I think they're better than biscuits and gravy. Well, I, you know, I haven't had biscuits and gravy. Like, you ever been to... It's Crazy Autos. It's down in Phoenix. Oh, I haven't been there. But there's a one... Back where I went to high school in Lancaster. Yeah. And they had this Crazy Autos, and it was next to the railroad track. And they made them move. They paid them like a couple million dollars to move because they wanted to put the Metro Link right there. Just to move them? Just to move them. That's nice. And so they did. But every time a train would go by, they'd spin this wheel. Uh-huh. And the wheel was the, your table number. And so if, you're, if your table number landed, you got a free meal. Hell oh, yeah. But they had omelets the size of my foot. Jesus. And their biscuits and gravy, I haven't had biscuits and gravy like that at a restaurant since. But then my dad... He's a firefighter. Huh. I haven't had better biscuits and gravy than his ever. Like, I don't know what he does. I don't know if he puts crack in there or what, but it's fantastic. Maybe my mom. I don't know who it is. Somebody in my house knows how to fix biscuits and gravy. This is phenomenal. There you go, bro. Get your foot over there. What, you call me, Chad? Dude, you could have done this. Yeah? Yeah. Do it right. I'll deal with Michelle when she comes on up. She's my roommate, my best friend. That's cool. So, you guys get along good? Dude, we we could finish each other's sentences. That's everything. Like it's. I got. Dude, I'm tired.